The Panama Papers were published in April 2016. Um, my mother was murdered in October 2017. They killed him because of these values they, that he was talking about. So we have to remind him and we have to do not forget his story. There's an obligation on the state to create an enabling and favourable media environment. And if they fail to do that, that is something they must be held to account for. Even if they didn't pull the trigger, even if they didn't pay for someone else to pull the trigger, they are complicit in those circumstances. How do we continue to hold power to account? How can we use technology to do that, to, to embrace it and to merge technology with the mission of journalism? Anyone who is looking into the case will know this, but they, don't, they refuse to look at it. I mean, what are we, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's mad and sad. At least eight out of ten cases are com in complete impunity, which means, and that has been determined across borders, that no cases have been heard, not investigations open, but also where there's no access for victims uh, to opening those cases, and there are no judges. Anna Politkovskaya. Whom people know, you, whom Russian people trusted, and we all relied on her, and one day, horrible day, 7th of October 2006, uh, in, in the elevator of his, her own house, she was killed by somebody, some bastards. If the journalist's work is not pointed out at the first uh, steps during the proceedings, it will not lead to a conviction that recognizes the work of the journalists or the risks that they were put into because of their work. Well, at the time, Malta had the presidency of the European Union. The European Union itself had a kind of incentive to look away what, from what was going on in Malta because it also wanted to avoid embarrassment. Taft criticized the high military, uh, high rank military uh, staff and the, the whole political um, leadership in Russia. And so that was clear, including for her, that one day they would, will not allow her to continue. That was a question of time. I'm sitting here uh, in the name of the relatives of Stan. I'm sitting here uh, because of uh, Zadok Yegeskili. And I'm sitting here for 12 Georgian, uh, the relatives of 12 Georgian victims who have been left alone for 13 years by uh, uh, all authorities. Seeking the truth and uncovering the truth and making sure that that truth, you know, fits the public as it should has become more challenging than ever.